Well, hello, Instagram. Happy Tuesday. It feels like a Thursday because I'm doing a live and that's the day that I usually do them. But it feels like a Monday because it feels like the week will never end. <laughs> hello, Lather Lounge. I'm so excited to have you join here in a few minutes. I'm just going to let everybody else pop on. Hi, Jane. <gasps> Be the contortionist. Ooh, I'm so excited. I want to know about that. Natural with Skip. Queen Bee 77, thanks for being here. Hi from London, or should I say cheerio? Hello, Godna. <laughs> You're probably going to log off now because I did such a terrible job at that, but us Americans like to pretend that we can play with your gorgeous accents. Thanks for joining today, you guys. We are doing another revving in real time so that you can see two people with very different hair texture rev at the same time. The Traveling Fro, welcome. So happy to have you guys here. So yeah, we are gonna have a special guest on today and we are going to rev our hair. Oh, thank you. My skin is absolutely flawless. You're so sweet. I was just thinking how um, the only thing that I love about daylight savings time is it would normally be a little darker right now and then this light that I have in front of me would make me look younger. <laughs> so thank you, I really needed that today. Um, so today we're gonna rev in real time. So you can see people, myself and our special guest, um, you can see us rev our hair in real time, no tricks, no edits, no gimmicks. Just two gals here um, doing our hair. You can ask questions along the way. Uh, Team Rev Air is supporting me here. And so they are in the comments. If you have any questions that I don't get to, that may happen. So um, if that happens, they can answer them there for you. And then you can always head over to our page or you can head over to our website if you need anything from customer support. They're amazing the nicest people in the world and they will always take care of you so I'm super excited about that okay so I'm gonna give it just another minute here um, in the meantime I can tell you a bit about our guest today um, and also encourage you to head over to the website to get one of these amazing new right combs the right comb if you ever watch Ladosha on Thursdays she's showing you how much this is needed but our special guest today is actually from North Carolina that is where she has a salon her name is Maggie and she owns the lather lounge which how cute is that name um, and she owns the lather lounge she's gonna be joining us here in a few minutes she's the owner of that amazing salon and what I have to tell you and what I want to talk to her about first is that when I was reading about this lawn, they were talking so much about uh, how much they want to make women feel good about themselves, just as they are. Yes, they want to make you feel beautiful within their salon, but that the beauty inside of a salon, uh, the treatments inside of a salon, you're not to find beauty. Um, and that everybody can be who they want to be uniquely and that's what's beautiful So not everybody has to have the same hair or look the same or be the same size or the same gender or any of those things You can be who you are and that's what's the most beautiful and so I loved that coming from a salon That was what they were saying right because they make money on full transformations and the full transformation is not something that everybody needs or wants and what we should do is take the attributes of ourselves and make it better right and love ourselves uh, for that or celebrate the attributes of ourselves. i don't even want to say make it better but what i will say is that you know even on here i've like gotten caught sometimes because i'll say somebody has you know 4b hair and people will jump on me and say it's 4c no and other people jump on me and say no that's 4a oh no that's you know three or two whatever and i think what we need to do is talk less about hair types we talk about textures when we do talk about hair types it's just to help kind of identify because you guys are viewing it from afar but it's super important to me that we aren't just hair type two three or even four a b and c but we're just totally 
me, like yourself and feel the best in yourself. So nobody else has to agree with if you've typed yourself right. The only thing that matters is if you feel good at the end of the day with how you look. So I think it's really super exciting to have her here and I'm going to go ahead and have her jump on now and then uh, shortly after we're gonna get started revving our hair now I have been sitting here so um, it has air dried a bit but never fear I brought one of our up and atomizer bottles so I will make sure that I saturate it before we get started so nobody can say I was cheating okay so let me grab Maggie and we'll get started and then you guys can watch our transformations as well All right, we're just waiting for her. It should be connecting here any moment. I'm so excited to finally meet her. <gasps> Hi, love. Hello. How are you doing? How are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm doing great. Camera a bit. Thank you so much for taking the time. You're welcome. Can you see me good? I can see you so good. And I don't know if you heard me talking about you, but I'm just so impressed with um, what you wrote on your web page and how you treat the philosophy of your salon about like making people feel comfortable in their own skin. Can you tell us why it was really important to you to, to do that as a salon owner? Because a lot of times people don't feel good about themselves. So you have mm -hmm. to make them feel, you know, if they come in um, a certain type of way and they leave out that same way, I did something wrong. You have to right. make them feel good about themselves, you know, because sometimes a woman don't feel good until they get their hair done, nails done, sure. and they flawless. Yeah, and so it's really like important. your job to, to, to help them find what they define as beauty, right? Like, you may not even think the color they pick for their hair is the best one for them, but if they want that color, you're going to give them that best version of that color. I'm sure you see that all the time where it's really personal preference, but if that's what makes them feel beautiful, you want to give it to them. Oh, something close to it, but they have to match their skin complexion. Okay, good. I like <laughs> to make sure. I like that you yeah. make sure. Well, yeah. tell us about the Lather Lounge. Well, the Lather Lounge, um, I opened, I started my own business in 2008 license, and I always wanted something that was catchy, but not, you know, about Maggie. It's always about you. You know, mm, so the lather, right. it comes from me using Paul Mitchell products and the lather is like from shampoo. Mm -hmm. So I had a small studio. So that's why I named it the Lather Lounge Hair Studio. So then I ended it's up getting so another great. salon. So, so now studios, the Lather Lounge Studios. That's awesome. So, you know, um, I'm so happy to meet like an amazing uh, another because I'm lucky I meet lots of them. Um a uh, woman entrepreneur who like started out and started small and has had has seen growth that's really exciting yes yes awesome. and you got to excuse this because i seen it you, look i shampooed my hair <laughs> just a minute ago and i was like oh i got to pin it up because it's so long and thick and yeah I was like, well oh, I, I was just saying mine's like about to become like this crazy frizziness because it's just sitting here air drying and I was uh -huh. like, I promised everybody I have a water bottle. You'll see me actually dry it. But I've noticed just in a few minutes, I'm sitting here, it's like getting frizzy and growing. It's get, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. growing. So, so my thing us, was. Oh, um, go ahead, please. I was going, what you was about to say. Go ahead. No, you, you first. Okay. So <laughs> um, you was about to say, tell us about Red Bear. Yes, yeah, so I was about to say how that. you found us. <laughs> yeah. You, were, because, you do um, hair and you read minds. Very good. <laughs> yeah. So um, in 2000, um, 2018, I heard about the machine. I was like, oh, my goodness, I have to, you know, um, try it out. So I partnered, with, I partnered with you guys in 2018. And um, my clients love it because I have clients who like to get their hair blown out and straightened. And I mm -hmm. have clients who just like to get in their hair blow dry before they get a sew in. And sure. this machine worked great because you don't have to fully get it straight, straight, but it helps yeah. get it dry before mm -hmm. you get your sew-ins, crochets, and, you know, everything that you get, like quick weaves or, you know, anything in that yeah. nature. But this is a great tool, and it worked faster than any other machine. So tell me, were you skeptical at first? Were you like, mm, I don't know about this thing? Well, the thing is, I have a four-year-old. Mm -hmm. Her hair is long, just like mine. 
she don't like the regular blow dryer. Mm -hmm. so when I use, <laughs> right. So when I use this on her hair and she just sitting there, I said, oh, okay. So she just sitting there, you know, not doing nothing. Just yeah. She said, Ma, it's not hot. It's not hot, Ma. So I went through her hair so fast and it's real helpful for me to get through her hair before I braid it. Mm -hmm. so this yeah, is what I use a lot of people just on. want their hair like um, they don't want it bone straight they want it so stretched not, so they can create like a practice oh is that that's the cutie cool. there do we get to yes <laughs> so, say hello Ava hey hi Ava uh, I wish I could get one of those too. <laughs> you wish you could get one of those too you love it so yes ma'am yes ma'am hey Ava can you hear me okay wait let me take this go ahead okay Go okay, ahead. Ava, can, Ava, can you hear me? Yes. Um, do you know what a genie is? Come on, Ava. Yes, it, you... makes, it makes three wishes. It makes three wishes? So would one of your wishes be to have your own red right there? Yeah, I want to wish for a unicorn. Oh, okay. Well, I'll try to work on unicorns, but um, <laughs> guess what wish I'm going to make come true right now? What? I'm going to give you a Rev Air to have at home. Thank You're you. very <laughs> out. <laughs> so I will send Ava one. It's a huge thank you for her mom doing this for us tonight. <laughs> she said thank you. She's very welcome. I love that she said, I wish I could have one. <laughs> That's so sweet. She's very I independent. I keep saying if we came out with a, a kid toy version of one, we would make lots of money. Because <laughs> she love it. Want to be like their parents, yeah. She said she um, have her own. She wanted you to know she have her own business. Oh well, some kids have I lemonade stands. Some have rev places. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and start revving. I loved that you mentioned that kids Rev love it. I mean, the truth of the matter is. Whenever we're reposting stories on Instagram, I just love how kids who usually have tender heads suddenly, like, don't cry at all. I love that you mentioned how fast it is. So I say we go ahead and just start revving. I'm going to go ahead and wet my hair if you want to um, wet any of your sections. Now, everybody who's watching, we're talking about the Rev Air Reverse Air Dryer. And if you haven't tuned in here before, the Rev Air has a base unit. And on the base unit, it has seven tension settings. So it's one device for your entire family. And then the Rev Air has a wand. So this is the wand. This here is the heat chamber. This is where you're going to decide your temperature. So there is no heat, low heat, and high heat. I'm going to use high heat. Now, even mm -hmm. at its highest, it's still about 100 degrees less than the lowest setting on your normal blow dryer or on your straightener, which is amazing. There is nothing in here, Maggie can attest, there is nothing in here to tangle your hair, cut your hair, <laughs> to mess up your hair. There's no hot plate. You don't even have to use a brush to pull at it, so it is less breakage and it is less friction and it's less hair loss. So we're gonna get started. I am gonna put mine on setting three because of all the COVID stuff. I haven't been able to get my hair trimmed in quite a while. So normally I would use like a four. I'm gonna use a three right now because my ends are a little icky from not being cut for so long. What are you gonna put yours on, Maggie? I'll put mine on high. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'll put mine all, all the way up to seven. <laughs> okay, well, that's exactly what we're trying to show people, is that one device can do something for everyone. Can I just tell you how you're doing, how I love that you're doing the mom snap right now? You're like, hey, uh -huh. <laughs> not right now. You're so cute. You're so cute. You got the multitask. Yeah, everybody at home who does the mom snap, Go ahead and put a thumbs up in the comments. We, we want to see some mom love for Maggie right now, who's doing the mom snap. I don't have any children, but I've got nieces, and they've been snapped at before they get snapped at before. So. Right. <laughs> now, you can prepare your hair with one of our amazing hair care products or your personal favorite, but you do not want to use oils when you are doing your hair. Now, some people say, oh, I love using my oils. You're going to see that you don't need it with this. Your hair can 
that so much softer and you can finish with oil. So you don't have to do that um, beforehand. So you're going to save product money as well. And I'm going to go ahead and use our amazing clips here. This will show it upside down. So I'll do it that way. These are our amazing clips. And it will hold Oh, I hair. need that color. Yeah, well, consider it done. Consider it done. Those are limited edition. Yeah, we'll send them over to yeah. you. So we Thank have, you. what you're going to want to do, everybody, is section your hair out. So I sectioned. I kind of do, mm -hmm. some people do quadrants. I just kind of like pin some up. Hold on. You, clearly, I'm not doing a great job of it today. Pin some up. And then um, I do my hair kind of in thirds and pull sections from that. So we're going to get started. Um, maybe we should just do kind of the bottom section of our hair. And then we'll turn off mm -hmm. our machines and bottom. come back. And then that way everybody can watch us, okay? All right, here we go, you guys. Enjoy. Let's go. <laughs> okay, you guys. In it goes. See, it wants to grab your hair. Can we do that again? See, it does it for you. And then in it goes. Now, you don't want to bounce it because you would disrupt the airflow. And in here, your hair is in midair. It's drying from roots to tip and 360 degrees around. Now, it took us four years to come up with just the shape inside of this that would be perfect so that the hair can slap around or so what you do is you just dab it around the section. Some people do little circles, some people do dabs. It's really personal preference. As you can see, we're not editing this, we're doing it live and in real time. Now, sections usually take anywhere from 30 to 90 seconds, depending on your hair texture and how wet it is. You pull it away, put your fingers there to make sure you got all the roots, and then boom, out comes dry, shiny hair. So let me do this other section again. It's gotten a little frizzy right there. I'll wet my next section for you guys. So you just move it around. There is no hot air blowing on me. It is amazing because you don't get super sweaty. To be honest with you, last mm -hmm. time we did this, I was more sweaty from this hot light on me than I was from doing my hair. <laughs> You're right. Here I am in long sleeves blowing my hair. You're and I'm in a sweater. Sleeves. Yeah, like it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't mess you up. And my hair is natural. And your hair is natural. And yeah. you guys saw how wavy curly mine is, and then boom. So yeah, I'm yeah. going to turn this off for a second. Good job. And I will let you guys see. I can brush right through it. There's no tangles. Right through it. Done. A third of my head done in that short amount of time. I can do my whole head in about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, obviously not on here because we stop in between and talk, but my hair is shiny and it gets better over time because your hair is not exposed to high heat and I'm not pulling at it with brushes. It's really something else. You want to see uh, 4C natural hair. I want you to see it too, so you should head over to our YouTube page or put Rev Air in the search bar of YouTube. You also can see plenty of 4C hair on our actual Instagram um, page. So head over there as well. And then what I will tell you is um, we will be heading over to YouTube to start doing lives in the future as well for some weeks. And then on TikTok as well. So please be sure you're following us. We'll be doing contests on YouTube and on TikTok and um, doing giveaways. And you're not going to want to miss out. So would you like to tell them um, about how your clients feel when you're using it? Do they think, oh my gosh, no way I'm letting you suck my hair. Because most people at first are like, I'm not putting my hair in that thing. You know, vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> they, used, they used to say, I'm not about to suck my hair in no vacuum cleaner. I'm like, yeah. it's not a vacuum cleaner. I it's love a dryer. That, when people they... say that all the time. 
And when I do it, they're like, oh, my gosh, are you serious? Sometimes they don't even get it flat iron. They just leave with it blow dry. Yeah. Because a it, lot of, a yeah, lot of they clients like don't like it. Uh-huh. A lot of clients don't like to get have their hair real, real straight. So they just get it blow dry and they just they leave out. They sure do. Right People love that it has some volume in it. So it's really nice because you don't have to do the whole um, bone straight like you would with like a flat iron because there's no way to uh -huh. really keep any of that volume in it. So I went ahead and sprayed this section so everybody could see. And what I will tell you all is that you, mm -hmm. if you're looking for a Valentine's Day gift, and want to make someone happy this is the one if you want one of these and don't have one you should tell your valentine because they might get you one so let's go ahead and try mm -hmm. a couple more sections and then we'll come back all right you guys so we are going to drive a few more this sections. is a great investment My hair. It, it really is i was going to talk about that next time. It does occur, it actually feels good. We move it around gently. Again, it's drying the hair from root to tip. You have your heat chamber here. No hot air blowing on you. We do have afterpay and we have PayPal credit. We're on tonight with Maggie from the Lather Lounge in North Carolina. And so you can look up her Instagram page as well as her website and go with her. You know she has red air, so you can make an appointment with her to try it there. Okay, I pulled away and I touched the roof, and I noticed I'm a little wet back here where I missed it. And then just like that, you see it holds your hair for you. No brush is needed. Your hair is not being tugged on, which means that it will create breakage and loss. And boom, just like that, that section is dry. I'll do this next one for you. Now, a lot of people have curly hair right here, like their edges or curly hair. Think about it. Mm -hmm. If it is like a vacuum, like Maggie's clients were saying, if it is like a vacuum, it's pulling those straight for you. So those little curly trees, and I see that piece of this too, and I think I can just go like this and... It sucks it right in there, so I don't have to worry about it getting into my face. <laughs> okay. Here we go. you used it did you just like start petting yourself because it was so soft your hair is so soft like people that have the petting effect after they try it they're like oh my hair is so soft and then they mm -hmm. just can't stop touching it so it's amazing it's really spectacular. Right. now tell me do you use it because many do do you use it on your clients who have either wigs or weaves or locks what do you um what else do you use it on as far uh -huh. as hair so or style okay. oh you use can it you for sew-ins yes i heard you now uh-huh <laughs> on sew-ins too yeah yeah so it's gentle enough for that were you surprised that you were going to be able to use it on sew-ins 
I was real surprised because how, you know, it cut off the timing for them having to sit up under the dryer. But of yeah. course, they still had to sit because of the the inside had to dry. Sure. But the outside dried through the red air. It's so, you know. So it cut so off some of the timing. It does. It's, I'm so glad you brought up the timing because um, my hair used to take me 45 minutes. Now it takes me 10 to 12. You can answer her. Go ahead and answer her and I'll tell the audience. Wait a minute, babe. I'm, I'm going to so sweet so um our little helper there is wanting her mother's attention so sweet hi sweet girl oh look at her doing hair she is doing hair right there on the floor i don't know that state board is gonna let her get away with that right. <laughs> so um what i will tell everybody is that this knocks your hair time your drying straightening stretching time into about a third um, we have actually done studies about that and it shows that people can get their hair done a third faster now, what I, or in a third of the time. What I will tell you as well that's really interesting is that some people see even more incredible results. Um, uh, Tia Streety, who is somebody we met because she was an audience member on the doctors who answered an ad saying how hard it was for her to straighten and dry her hair. She would normally take three hours, and it got her down to 20 minutes. 20 minutes, mm. you guys. So go check out her pages. So we're going to go ahead and keep going. We're going to go around more of our hair, and then we'll come back and answer some of the questions you guys have. We will answer the questions. I see them coming up, y'all. They're coming. <laughs> <laughs> you can help me with that. Real live. No tricks. Just grabbing. Again, there are no hot plates, so there's nothing that can tangle your hair. There's nothing in there. It is going to sing your hair into submission, cut your hair. It's a tube in there. It's um, one end open, the other end open if you're looking for holes here. On your hair, float right there. It does not flap it out. It would cause split end or it would cause potential tangles. You pull it away here and you feel and then boom that section is done. Now let's go ahead and do this last section of the second portion of my hair and then when we get to the top I'll show you a couple of tricks for that too. So right here, my hair is towel dried as I'm going around, obviously it's becoming more air dried, but I will wet the next section again so you guys can see there's no tricks, no gimmicks. And when you have hair like mine, you don't want to have real, real big sections. You want to part as much as you can so that way it That's can dry. Right. That is a great tip. So if you suck too much of your hair into the dryer, you will actually strip it's safety mechanism. Now, what I mean by that is that if you put your hair in there, and I'll show you as soon as I'm done with this section to let you hear the difference. Let me just finish this section here. But you just want, like, the mouth opening of the wand. You want about that size. It's like a, like a three by three. You mm -hmm. also don't want too little hair because too little hair flaps around. It needs the weight of a section. Mm -hmm. So you'll get better results. Mm -hmm. But let me show you what happens to make sure you couldn't overheat your machine or your hair. Okay. Hang on one second. When Maggie's machine is off, I will show you guys what I mean. In the meantime, I will show you guys what I've done in my hair so far. Again, forgive me that it hasn't been cut in a while, but COVID and so on here in California. Oh, it's not been great on all of us. And all of them. So you can see what I've been able to do so far with myself sitting here in my bedroom. I am not a hairstylist. I do not have those skills. And I'm able with one hand to get my hair this straight, this shiny, this healthy because I've been using this device now for nearly three years. And by using it for three years, my hair health is better than I ever imagined it to be. I feel like I have the hair health 
that I would always look at other people and say, gosh, your hair is so shiny. How do I do that? But I never could do. So um, Maggie, would you mind leaving your device off for one second and then we'll take a few questions. I just want them to hear the, the difference in this device here. Okay, you guys, so here's what I'm gonna do. I want you to hear this. So I am gonna try to stuff too much hair in there so that you can hear how the device tries to safeguard itself and your hair. So I'm putting a ton of hair in there and you're gonna hear this turn off if I have enough hair in there to overstuff it. I might not have enough in there to overstuff it, so let me put a little more in. But what it will do so that your hair doesn't get overheated and neither does your um, your actual device. Let's see. I'll try to put all my hair in there. Because my hair is... Oh, I have a lot of it, but it's fine. Hold on one second here. I knew that was going to happen at some point tonight. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to put all my hair so far in there. Okay, listen to it. It's about to shut off the heat. Did you hear that? I'll try it one more time for you guys. It'll turn it off for three seconds so you know to pull your hair out so it doesn't overheat and it doesn't overheat the device. It just clicked back on itself. Here we go, one more time. I'm gonna be quiet this time so you can listen to it and see the safe safeguard that's been put in place. Okay, here we go. There it was. So that turns off the heat chamber here. So again, you don't overheat your device or do anything to your hair um, because the device is running so hot. So how great is that, right? Amazing. Okay, let's answer a few questions before we kind of move to the last sections of our hair. How's that sound? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so my first question is, um, about, you said it was a great investment. How much, I, I was doing some research, it said um, that a, on average across the United States, a typical chemical straightener is $625. How much is it in your hair salon? For just straighten or the uh, system? Like a, chem a chemical straightener. I don't even do it. Good girl. Okay, well, six hundred and twenty five. I specialize. I specialize in um the health of the hair. Good so I will use stuff. this before I use any um straighteners, smoothing That's systems. That's amazing. Okay, I love that you said that. Here's what I will tell you guys: is it six hundred and twenty five dollars on average across the United States to get a chemical straightener? That lasts three whole months. A Rev Air, depending on which package you try, can be anywhere from two ninety nine up. And this is something that you have for the length of how long it'll last. I've had mine three years, so I mean, what does that tell you? We have an amazing one year warranty. Um, and so, what you will do is you will see value to this. You will have this one time spend. You can break it up into payments. You'll have this one time spend instead of $625 four times a year. I mean, that's like, what is that? $2,500? No, $2,500, I think that is. I'm not a math major. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's take a couple of questions. Oh, somebody said, what are we talking about? They just joined this live. Um, they see us revving now. Do you guys have any other questions? Um, if you have thick hair, how big should your sections be? So your sections should be around the size of like kind of the inside of the device right there. So like a three by three section. Now it's plus or minus. It also depends on hair density and texture. So you want to make sure that you always err on the side of less than more, but you will learn quickly because you hear that thing click off once and you're like, oh, I don't want that to happen again. And before you know it, in just a couple of uses, you'll have it down, if not on the first use. You can see there's no learning curve. You just jump on here and you just start using it on your hair. Anybody else have any questions? Otherwise, we're going to get to revving this top section here and show you our final product. I'm going to give you guys a little tip on how to get some volume here on the top. Is there still pre-order? Great question. So, yes, we are still... You guys were so wonderful to us uh, during the holiday season. Our little company of less than 20 people are so grateful to all of you. So what I will tell you is that, um, yes, we did sell out at the holidays. 
And um, obviously, we're trying to make them fast and furious. But with COVID and manufacturing and all those things, just taking a little longer than usual. So you can place your order and you will get a time frame to expect it in and it gets you your place in line. So that when yours, your ticket is up, it gets shipped very next. So get yourself on the list because I can't imagine with Valentine's Day coming up, the list is going to get shorter. It's just mm -hmm. going to get longer. So make sure you longer. do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me go ahead. And now, uh, Maggie, you have a little girl. You have a sweet little Ava. Tell me, Ava is going to live in a world where she did, she only knew that Rev Air existed, right? Mm -hmm. She only mm -hmm. knew that reverse air was possible. Tell me some of the crazy things you tried on your hair or your mom tried on your hair when you were a kid. A hot comb. A hot comb. <laughs> yeah, right? And and was there at least one whooping? <laughs> it was whoopings throughout then? the whole process. Oh, <laughs> I know. You know, I was saying out here a couple of weeks ago, I was like, you know, like when you have hair texture like I do and, um, you know, like, especially like in families that um, if there's, well, I have so many black people in my family now and we love it. We, we have Thai people, we have Mexican people, Thank it's you. like the United Nations. But when I was a kid, obviously that was different, right? Time changes things. So now we know how to deal with hair texture. Back then it was like, if you were white, you might not have ever seen the dynamic about hair because my mom mm -hmm. would just be like, go brush your hair before we leave, right? Like it's that simple because it's pretty well straight when I was a little girl. Um, so I always laugh because yeah. when, I, when I am talking to people and they like got whooped over it, I'm like, oh no, <laughs> like this is terrible. Okay, yeah, so, so we're gonna go ahead and finish our hair right here, you guys. I'm going to show you a tip on this section. So stick with me here for a minute, everyone. Okay, so I have the device. Again, there's no heat, low heat. And I hate even calling it that, but it's high heat. Again, the high heat is 100 degrees less than the lowest setting on your blow dryer or flat iron. And look at that. You see that? This is why I don't need a brush. This is why it's a bolt. Look at it taking my hair in for me. Like if you're just tuning in, we're running in real time where we show you that there's no, uh, no edit, no gimmick. But this thing is the real deal. You dab it. You do not want to bounce it or pump it. You just move it around. There are little holes right here that get the root area. But as soon as your hair is feeling the hot air there, the reverse air pulls it back up. So it's not blowing on your scalp or on your skin. People ask um, which Red Air products are best to use for smoothing your hair. And we actually have two amazing primers. So you can check that out. We have an amazing um, shine spray as well that helps with flyaways. Okay, so this section is done. What I'm going to do is, maybe I'm going to cheat this by turning it that way. Okay, there we go, guys. So right here, I'm going to turn it from high heat to no heat. So I literally have no heat. Now, yes, you can use a heat protector on your hair if you'd like to. Just no oil. You do not want to use oil. But I ask you to just try it as well to see how gentle it is on the hair because you might be able to save in some product cost. Definitely oil should be last. Okay, so now you guys have seen me turn it on to no heat and I'm gonna show you why I do that by like over directing it forward a bit and holding it straight up so the roots are straight up in the air. That is going to allow me to get some volume that I would normally have had to like back comb or God forbid bump it, but back comb or something. So you see how it gave me some height back there? It's really fantastic. And the only reason it's tangled like that is because I was messing about with it. But I'll show you this next section, how it comes out without tangles. It tangled because you put too much. 
No, it tangled because as soon as I took my hair out of it, I started running my fingers through it to show them how much volume, uh, and then I tangled it up with my, uh, with my own hands. So, <laughs> and I don't know that I'd even really call it tangled, but, you know. Okay, so back on high heat. Again, I'll show you in the soft section how the hair just wants to go in there. It does it itself. So there you go. I have it on high heat. I'm going to catch up with you right quick. <laughs> um, one person said that their eggs are a little rough. What did they do wrong? You probably have it turned on too high of a tension setting. So Barbara, would you let us know, Barbara Matt uh, 2006, will you let me know what tension setting you're using? I'll be watching for your reply there, Barbara. She might have put too much hair in it if her hair tangled. Yeah, I was going to say, it's kind of like too little hair can flap it about. Higher uh -huh. tension setting when your hair can't take it. So, like, mm -hmm. I'm a four. If I tried to do it on seven, like Maggie's doing, I would probably get little tangles because mm -hmm. my hair isn't textured enough to handle that. Okay, so you're mm -hmm. on a seven, Barbara. Do me a favor and report back after trying next time using it a little lower. Try a five, try a six. Sometimes different sections of your hair might require a different number. Um, I was sharing with people that like I used to have like, you know, my hair lighter with some blonde in the front. And for years, this was like fried. And so this part I'd have to use like a two. And back here, the rest I could be three or four the whole time. Okay. What texture so now, is Barbara? Are you th Barbara, yeah, are you Barbara, thin or thick? Thin, we your want hair to know texture. If you're thin, thick, and hair texture, if you don't mind. Someone I don't says, go now, by what is that contraction C, on your I head? don't go by that. <laughs> this dries and straightens your hair in a single step. All right. So I've now turned my device off. I'm brushing through so I can just show you guys exactly that I was able to get my hair done. Now, we have been on this live for 42 minutes. What I will tell you is that's how long it would have taken me with a round brush to just round brush it normally. And the thing that's crazy about that is we've been talking this whole time, like the first 11 minutes we were talking. So if I didn't do anything except just rub my hair for you, you guys would have seen me do my hair in about 10 to 12 minutes, which I may just do for you all one day. And there you go. There's my finished product. Hopefully you guys can see it well because I cannot see what's going on. <laughs> but there's my hair done. You can see the sleekness and the shininess, and hopefully you guys all thought that was really pretty. <laughs> I'm almost done. You do you, girl. You do you. <laughs> so do you guys have any other questions for me while we wait for Maggie to finish up? Okay, Barbara thinks she's classified as a 4B or C. We will ask Maggie as soon as she's done what professional tips she has for you. Gosh, you guys, I'm getting propositioned. People want me to video call them. This might be my lucky day. Just kidding. Okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> there. there we go. You guys can see. No flat iron. No brush. Just me and this. The Rev Air Reverse Air Dryer did that. Pretty friggin' cool, right? <laughs> so, who wants one? Put a heart in the comments and tell me if you plan on asking for one from your Valentine or you plan on getting one for your Valentine. Let's see what you guys say here in the comments. Let's see lots of hearts in the comments section. Okay, Barbara, you're giving us lots of information. That's awesome. Okay. okay. This is good for my clients, the ones that have hot flashes. Yeah. When I was using the regular no dryers on their hair, they sweat. But when I use yep. the red air, they don't sweat because it's a yeah, cool that is no lie. feeling it's on really the scalp. Dangerous. And yeah, I don't even think you have to have hot flashes. What's so funny is like, just like when I use a blow dryer, it gets so hot here in uh, Southern California ah! where I'm at. 
And I would want to stop midway through and I would be stopping to take a hair break, like, because it was just getting too hot in the bathroom and I couldn't take it. Mm. And I'd be like just sweaty under here again in the kitchen before I'd even get to the top. So now Barbara right. um, said that she's a four B or C, she thinks, and she's using her hair cream beforehand. That was what she told you as far as texture. Okay, so that's the problem. You just want to shampoo and conditioner and rinse it out with cool water water don't put product on your hair before you wrap air because that's what's going to make it tangle do the condition do the, okay. um do like an argan oil afterwards okay. don't wanna, you don't want to use a product things. yeah try those different suggestions and then always know we have a chat bubble on our website which is um myrevair.com you can head on over there hit the chat bubble and chat typically in real time um, with a real human being. How amazing is that? <laughs> okay, well, does anyone have any last questions while Maggie's working on her last sections there? I can take your questions. Can you hear Thank you guys? We can, you go right for it. Okay, okay. <laughs> awesome. so dial from zero where the device is off to seven so it means it's one device for everyone in your family no matter their hair texture and every person may have a different setting so some people might find that low heat and number three works best for them while other people might find that high heat and number six works best for them it's really going to be their custom setting so it's one device for multiple people then you have here your wand. Your wand has little holes right there. Those little holes are how you get your root and right at the scalp area. Now what happens is this heat chamber here, hot air goes into the wand and then it's immediately pulled back into the hose with the reverse air or suction. You have three options for your heat setting. No heat, low heat oops i did that backwards no heat low heat high heat there you go and you have a one-year warranty on this device you can also pay with paypal credit and you can pay with afterpay so whatever your preference is on those it works best on clean freshly washed hair you don't want your hair to be so saturated that it's dripping, but you also don't want it to be dry. Um, on in-between days, if I feel like I just need a little touch-up because I slept on it or it has like a bump from my, because I always wear my hair in a ponytail at night, if I feel like it has a little bump there from it, what I'll do is I'll just straight off my hair so I can be done with my whole head in less than five minutes for just a touch-up, so it's spectacular. Do you guys have any last questions? Um, before we finish up here, we do have our up and atomizer spray bottle, which hopefully you guys can see this, but it has that technology where it's a micro mist, and even if you let go of it, it keeps spraying. We also have two primers. The primers are, oh, that's right, hold on. The primers are Wave Divide and Play so we have one that's a cream and one that's a balm. Then as I was holding up a moment ago, we have Bright Spot, which is our shiny spray, but it also works as an amazing detangler, and all of these smell ridiculously good. We have the right comb, so that's fun. And it functions amazingly, not just fun. We have our amazing alligator are so soft and it always shocks me because I feel like I know how good the clips are but people really notice the difference in these clips and I'm so glad you guys can tell people buy these again and again and they buy them because people in their house steal them and take them to the other bathroom because they're so good 
and they come in this limited edition color as well. So I know I, I got to send it. Maggie some of these. Consider it done, Maggie. <laughs> they are the best. We'll get you some of these sent. So oh, don't yeah, they feel so it. much different than the ones it's you can buy like, on Amazon? It gripped the hair better than the other clips. It's amazing with the, we really worked on like the hinge spring here and people tell me all the time and I'm like, I'm so glad you noticed that it actually, yeah. like we put so much work into it. So I'm thrilled. I need those. <laughs> I love the color. Well, we will send them to you. And we also have here our amazing, luxurious, it works so well, hair towel um, with the elastic band and then a button. So that if you're like me and you do your makeup first, it stays up on the top of your head without falling over. We have this amazing Rev Air Wrap. It's like one of those buffs. So you can use it as a headband, you can use it as a mask, you can use it a million different ways. I feel like you guys are always teaching me. And then a few other things that are not as sexy but are super important. On the Red Air base unit, we do in fact have a filter. This filter, you will clean out about every five to seven uses. Um, for me, that might be a couple weeks time because I'm not revving my hair every single day. For Maggie, who has a salon, she may have to clean this out every day. What you will see is that there is no kind of hair in there compared to what you use all over the bathroom floor. Think about it. Any hair that comes off your head now goes down this wand and into this filter so you're no longer having hair all over the floor that you have to clean up. This is dishwasher safe. I wash mine with a toothbrush and um, some Dawn soap and then just leave it out on a paper towel to dry. So the filter. And then we actually have this as well for people who want that extra layer of protection. You can buy extras of both of these on our website. Um, what you do is you have it's this mesh piece and it slides in like a little puzzle right there. And it just is another line of defense for your filter, especially for those who do use products in their hair. So that is something that you can actually um, purchase as well. All of those things are available on our website, which is myrevair.com. As I mentioned, we're gonna have coming up in February, there will be giveaways starting. So make sure you're following us on YouTube. You're following us here on Instagram, as well as on TikTok. We're new to YouTube and TikTok. Uh, well, not so much YouTube, but we're new to doing lives there. And we are definitely new to TikTok. So we'd love for you guys to follow so you do not miss out on any I need to get on TikTok. You do need to get on TikTok. <laughs> Let me tell you something, you guys. So I obviously I can't guarantee this, but what I will tell you is people who use their Rev Air device on TikTok, there are so many videos that have millions of views because wow. people marvel at the hair being sucked in and coming out. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty crazy. Yeah, I got to download yeah. it. Do it, girl. Do it. All right. Well, is there anything else you want to share with them? I think you should share your information. Well, I mean, with me and my type of hair I have, I will go outside just like this. Yep. It's beautiful. Without putting a flat iron to it. I don't like a lot of product. I don't like to use, you know, things that weigh my hair down. I just like to go to sleep with a clean scarf and that's it. See, I have the movement, the body. And all yeah. I did was shampoo and condition my hair. And it have like a shine to it. It's beautiful. And it's so soft, right? Yeah, real soft. And That's I don't even awesome. have to shake that much. <laughs> <laughs> right? So why don't you tell them um, what social media platforms they can find you on, as well as your salon information so that they can come to see you and meet you. Everything is the Lather Lounge hair. YouTube, I'm on um, Facebook, the Lather Lounge Hair Studios, and um, Instagram is the Lather Lounge Hair. Everything is the Lather Lounge Hair, and you can go on my website, thelather.com. Awesome. If you want to have, uh, and I'm located in Durham, North Carolina, so normally what people do in this area, they come and try it out first, and then they purchase one through my code. I have a code so they can purchase. 
Awesome. Well, you guys head on over there, look for her codes and specials. And for the person asking, what kind of product did you use um, shampoo and conditioner wise? What did you use shampoo and conditioner wise? I use Design Essential. Okay. And I love Moroccan um, products too. Awesome. And I used um, a new shampoo that I tried. Is that is that line called Leonge? Leonge? Anyway, I tried that that somebody recommended to me. And then I am the craziest fan of the L'Oreal Mega Moisture that you can buy at Sally's Beauty Supply. It's like a mango sort of thing. And my hair has never been softer, like after I get out of the shower and less tangled than that stuff. So um, yes, hopefully you guys uh, love that and pick it up too. Well, I want to thank you. I want to thank Ava. You could tell her that as soon as we have devices in stock, we will be sending one her way. So as soon as they um, come in, we will send one her way. It may take us a little time because we have customers ahead she of us. She said, her, thank you, Ava. Wave. Thank you. Wave. Thank you, love. And then thank, thank you. you, Maggie, for taking the time. I really appreciate you and your willingness to come on here with your hair all tied up like I had mine and show people how easy it is. So I wish you I'm a here wonderful for you. night. Perfect. Anytime you well, need me, me, just message me. You you consider it done. I may be taking you up. Maybe we'll do something on TikTok together too and get hey. you started off right. Hey. Okay. <laughs> hey, maybe there's a dance we can do, a rev air dance. Okay. Well, thank you all so much for being here. We thank appreciate you all. So you much. all. I will be back Thursday night at seven o'clock Eastern time right here on the Rev Air live page. And then we also um, will be back here with another revving in real time. Um, not next week, but the week after we're doing them every other week. So set your calendars or make sure you read our stories because you can set up a reminder. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Thank you. Y'all have a good night. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.